times you're asked to examine two variables at the same time and look at the relationship between them. Uh, here is a file from problem 3.44 of your book. Um, it lists the benefit, the surpluses and claims for Blue Cross Blue Shield benefits for nine states. So if you want to examine to see if there's a relationship between claims and surpluses, uh, first thing we should do is we should plot our data um, on a chart, on a scatter plot. In order to do that, we go under Insert and choose Chart. We choose XY scatter because we have two values and the dots are fine. Next. So we have to specify our data range, which is these two columns of data. Uh, make sure Excel knows our data is in columns. Say next. Uh, here we are given some options. Uh, we can give a title. To our chart, we could uh, play with the values of the uh, axes or the grid lines, the legend, uh, or data labels. We could ask uh, for the data to have a name. If they had names here, it would just uh, specify them as series one or two. Or we could ask the chart to actually show the values. These are the value of our uh, first variable, the claims or we could ask it to show both. Here they are. Um, I think it makes the table, of, uh, the graph a little too crowded. So for now, let's just stick with what we have and click Finish and see our chart. And I'm going to move it up so you can see it. Um, so here is our chart. Um, and it shows that the data seems to move fairly closely to each other in one direction. It looks like our two values are positively correlated. Uh, again, you have the option to go under chart and uh, choose various options uh, for the graph, you know, give it labels, uh, play with the grid lines, the uh, distances between if you want to change your axis, not to start at zero, whatever you think uh, would make it uh, look better. But one of the most important things is trend line. And we're only interested in linear trend lines for now. So say OK. And as you can see, it, the trend line shows a very strong and positive um, line going upwards. So that indicates that this is a, a these two values are positively correlated and uh, fairly strongly correlated. You can also produce a correlation coefficient just to have the numeric value. Um, and the best way to do that is to use the function key. And we need to be under statistical. And you can either use the uh, correlation or the Pearson function. It's the same. I will produce, in this case, exactly the same number. Say OK. Here's your first array. Here's your second. And that's all. And here's the value, 0.95, a very strongly uh, correlated value for the two variables. Uh, as you remember, the value has to be something between um, 0 and 1, um, negative or positive. So 1 is the strongest correlation, and this is 0.95. Uh, there are other ways of producing this value, but I'll stick with just this one for now. So you know one way of uh, calculating a correlation coefficient.